let's take a look at what's coming next in your love life. Spirit, what is coming next in your love life? I'm hearing this song uh, one more time. What is that, Daft Punk? Is this a dance song, a party song? Like, this is a really upbeat song. It's a song of celebration. To me, that's a really positive song. And coming out first, we have the Three of Pentacles. This is my teamwork makes the dream work card, especially in relationships because for me, it's representing you, me, and the relationship, not two people merging and becoming codependent. It's two people. I'm working on me, you're working on you, and then we're both equally working on the relationship. It's not just one person's doing all the work and I'm trying to fix you and I'm trying to change you and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and you know, let's get out of the runner chaser vibe and get into the, let's just sit at the goddamn picnic table and enjoy lunch vibe, you know? We're tired of this exercise. Like, let's relax and sit by the pool, okay? So I love this teamwork makes the dream work vibe. Look, balance running and chasing isn't balance right it's not it doesn't feel fair it feels one one eight three 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 it feels like no i don't want to chase my love and i don't want my love to chase me i want us to just be together so looks like you are going to be coming into a balance a union a nice divinely guided union ace of cups is new love it's emotional fulfillment it's like i'm just and i love that there's a child on it like these children, like I posted in the last reading, don't hold grudges like as hard or as long. It's more forgiving. It's more like, you know, I just love you. Let's forget about it. I just love you. I'm going to forget about that. That's not going to bother me. They're not as easily offended. Um, the ocean and water and travel could be significant too. So it looks like you are going to be having a trip with somebody that you really love and that really loves you. You could be receiving a love letter or giving a love letter. And if you don't have a specific person in mind right now, you might wanna write a letter to a person. Like if you're like, I'm completely single, I have no freaking idea who this is gonna be about, I wanna manifest new love, and would write as if you already know them, right? I freaking love you. I love spending time with you, I love the way you make me feel. Like write this letter in detail as if you're already with whoever the person is, okay? And then just let it go. Let it go, because this is a really happy energy that we're moving into. I love new beginnings. It's happiness. It's a really good energy to come out. Definitely you and this person are going places, okay? We have the moon card. Two cards of fears and protection in reverse. So stop trying to protect yourself. That is the universe's job. Don't protect yourself. Go after the feeling of love. Make yourself open and available for love. And don't let your past hurt get the best of you because you will push this new beautiful cycle away. And this is one that you don't want to miss. 